we find the Emperor? Before I say, are you sure you're ready? Okay, okay, we have to draw him out. So I was thinking I'd disguise myself as a robot, but with a really big... Do you know what that sound is? Listen closely. Is it fear? Hope? The slow inevitability of death? No, it's me. <laughs> Winning. What else is new, you say? Oh, quite right. But you are only a part of one dimension. What about the rest? Maybe I'm just old-fashioned, but I think everyone deserves a little subjugation. So, to celebrate such a momentous occasion, I'd like to honor the good doctor who inspired this journey in the first place. By invading his home dimension personally. What? My first stop, Megalopolis. Or, as I like to think of it, New Nefarious City. <laughs> When do we leave? Right now. I am afraid so. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart Walkthrough. Final video and final boss for this game. So we are finally near the end. But that does not mean it has to be the end of the game. You can just as easily restart it in New Game Plus. It's probably going to be a terrible amount of NPC talking that I will be just babbling over, but that's alright. So we got our goon allies, and we kind of have a small gauntlet of enemies that we have to defeat before we can get to the boss. And we're back in the beginning area where the game began, where all of this stuff started. And it's just going to be a huge army of these robot enemies that we've been dealing with the entire game. So at least by this point, you should be pretty used to uh, dealing with them. And we'll notice in the left side it'll tell us snipers remaining, that is the main enemy we need to take out, so we're just going to try to kill these snipers. I'm going to try to use this like Gatling laser type of gun, and see if I can defeat them most of all, or first of all, and try to use uh, some of their deaths for some experience. But that gun does run out of ammo very quickly, and these enemies are pretty tough, so they're not super good for getting experience from, but uh, maybe on the smaller enemies that would be better. Okay, so there's another sniper on the left side that I am missing, and it takes me a little bit to notice, because I think he's probably buried over in that group of enemies, but I'm a little bit wrong there. He's not there at all. <laughs> so we're just going to take out these enemies, get a boatload of bolts. I'm at 118,000 bolts right now, and that's still nothing compared to the amount that you'll get from doing New Game Plus. Uh, so we're just going to get a load of those bolts from these enemies, and then finally defeat the last sniper. Alright, and then there's going to be a few more robots coming underneath that archway, so we'll just take them out. I really like this lightning rod gun. It's just super fun at freezing these enemies in place, and it'll chain to the other enemies and freeze them too. And then we're going to run into, guess what, another nefarious juggernaut. But I think this guy dies like the fastest of all the juggernauts that I end up fighting in this entire game. So at this point, these should really just be a super easy, normal enemy fight for you. Like, he's not even a boss anymore. He should just be a normal enemy. 
So I'm gonna grab that Peacemaker, totally miss the first shot, and then actually hit him and take out like, what was that, like 8% of his health per shot? That is crazy. Uh, you may want to save some ammo if you don't want to buy it. I, I think there's a place to buy it before the final boss. Might be wrong though, but either way, the final boss does have unlimited ammo drops, so we don't really have to worry about it, but still, um, maybe think about saving your ammo. I just wanted to kill the guy. And then we're going to finish off these enemies and get started with the final boss. of this dimension? Hmm. That is hilarious. You got lucky last time, Nefarious. Yes. This calls for a special sort of annihilation. I've been looking for an excuse to wear my new suit. Where did he... Go. What's your move, Nefarious? It's going to be a short intermission where we play as Rivet on the dragon thing, or whatever her name is. And there's really no challenge or anything to speak of here. The game flies you forward, and you can just hold down the trigger to shoot. And you'll want to do that if you want to avoid taking damage, I guess. But you don't even have to shoot here to get through it. And then eventually you'll start jumping off of her. And we're going to land here and fight the Imperial Power Suit. And this is how pretty much the entire boss is going to work. There's going to be a piece of the Imperial Power Suit that will come through a rift, and we're going to have to take out a significant chunk of its health before the game will move on. So with this one, we have to remove only 25% of the Power Suit, and that's going to be done through any manner of weapon combinations that you have available to you right now. It'll, that'll depend completely on how you decided to play with those weapons throughout the game, but just try to make sure that all your weapons hit the power suit and try not to waste ammo because then you'll have to spend some time going around this little arena getting some boxes up and trying to get some ammo drops. So it's just something you maybe want to try to avoid, but it's pretty hard to run out of ammo here. And it's going to feel like this guy has a ton of health because we're only going for 75% right now. So we have about 10% to go, and he doesn't really have any more attacks other than that laser that sweeps, and that's really easy to dodge by doing a left and right strafe jump. And then we'll be able to finish off phase one. <laughs> you really think you stand a chance? Uh... There is a battle to be won! Quantum Emperor Nefarious, your campaign of destruction, cruelty, and wanton snobbery is over. How's that? I have goosebumps. <laughs> you nailed it. Now jump. <laughs> Watching these cutscenes just reminds me of how they did such a dang good job on all these animations. I mean, this is movie worthy, but I don't want to tell them to make a movie because they did that and that wasn't that good. So I guess just because you can make a good game with a good story doesn't mean you can make a good movie. Anyway, we are at phase two of the Imperial Power Suit and we have to get this guy significantly weaker. We might have to get him to zero. I can't actually remember, but it's not going to be 25%. And this boss fight is a little bit brutal because there's no checkpoints whatsoever between now and the point that the phase continues. Or that you continue into the next phase. I did die here because I went to the platform over to the left side, which has some health and ammo over there, I think. And then I fell off to my death <laughs> while I was trying to get back onto this main platform. And that was very frustrating because I was pretty close to beating it and then I had to repeat the entire fight. 
So don't be afraid to go over there and maybe take out some of these enemies from time to time. They're not really too big of a deal because you have a lot of allies shooting these enemies uh, for you. So you don't really have to worry too much about them bugging you. But if they're getting too out of control, then you can try to take them out. So this guy behaves pretty much the same as the first phase. Body parts of his Imperial power suit are going to come through some rifts. And we're going to just attack them whenever they're available. So Mr. Fun Guy is super good. I think I was throwing down Glove of Doom to help me out with some of the smaller enemies, or maybe it was just muscle memory at that point, because they can't really attack any of the enemies here. He's uh, The Imperial Power Suit is still going to laser you to death, and I love that the Topiary Sprinkler can just freeze the guy in place. So that's a very useful weapon for also just stopping him in his tracks if you need to. I think if you attack like his eyeballs, you see how that right one is getting cracked. I think if you aim for those, you're going to do more damage, or maybe that's the only way you can damage him. Uh, if that is true or not, I'm not actually totally sure, because if you are supposed to attack the eyeballs, then the game is extremely forgiving on where you can actually deal damage to this guy, but it just may be something that you might want to, if you have to aim with your weapon, you might want to go for the eyeballs. It's like here with the Peacemaker, it's not really mattering too much. I'm able to take out 2%-ish of his health with each shot with that thing. And I think by now I do in fact have the Rhino, but it's just level 1 and it's not really very good yet. So it's a weapon that I think is much better suited off in... Now yeah, here's the Rhino 8. I think this weapon is much better off in New Game Plus than it is here. But it is still a very strong weapon. I mean even that? Yeah, that one took like... 2% of his health off and I think that did like 5 or 6% so it's still a strong weapon even when it's weak but it's nothing compared to what it will be once you fully upgrade the dang thing. Uh, so we're just gonna switch back through the weapons that I actually have ammo with and we'll continue this until this phase ends. Phase 3, we are inside the Imperial Power Suit and we have to defeat the Heart. So there's a lot of ammo and a lot of health around here and you might be needing it because uh, I guess it'll depend on how long it took you to, to defeat Emperor Nefarious off in, uh, in the outside world. And here there's going to be those red glowing lights surrounding the Heart that we need to destroy. So those are the only part... those are the only points. I was trying to combine the word parts and points there by the way, it didn't work. Those are the only points on the heart that can actually take damage, and once they take enough damage, they'll blow up, and you'll just need to move on to the next one. So that one is dead, and I've had Mr. Fun Guy over here pounding away on this guy, so that should be pretty close. 
As usual, the Peacemaker is going to be very useful here. Try not to fall down. And we're just going to go around and, of course, pick up any ammo boxes that we can. There's going to be one more fight after this, and then that'll be it for the end of the game. So we're pretty much there. We are nearing the end. This was an amazingly fun game, and I do think there's actually enemies that are supposed to spawn here, but I, yeah, there are. They're up in the air now, but my nice little minions are helping me out. Once we defeat it to 0%, there's going to be that core that we're now going to have to destroy, and it's going to send some electrical pulses around at us and it took me a second to realize I had to attack it and I got whacked by that so once we drain that health to zero then phase four will begin Run away anymore. I can't let you do this alone. I will hold back his army. Take him down. Phase 4 of the final boss for Rift Apart is now starting and we have to battle Emperor Nefarious. So once again we don't actually face Nefarious <laughs> himself. I don't think... did we fight him in Crack in Time? I think maybe we did. But in this game we fight him I think early on in the game and that's like about... I guess we fought him twice but... This is the first real time we're actually going to get to battle Emperor Nefarious. So he does have some kind of annoying, difficult to attack hits, and you can just kind of see them by watching the video. And for some reason, I decided yet again to whack those explosive barrels with my ratchet. Don't know why I keep doing that, but it's not a bad idea to blow up those explosive barrels because they are kind of littered around this small arena, and you really don't want them to be the reason that you die, right? And other than that, it's just going to be a matter of trying to keep track of where the guy is and then shooting him. Every now and then he's going to disappear and summon some of these enemies. And eventually, I think Rivet, is that her name? <laughs> is, not Rivet, the other one, uh, Kit. Kit is going to help us out with, or he, she's already helping us out with some of the enemies here. So we don't really have to worry about getting swarmed by them too badly. Kit is pretty super strong. And I already have Nefarious at like 54% health, but that is going to... Uh, the speed of that is going to go down here because I am kind of running out of good weapon ammo. And once we repeat those steps just until the guy's health hit 0%, we're done with the game. We'll get another cutscene and then the credits roll, and that is it for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, and also the end of my walkthrough. So thank you for watching this. I think my next game is going to be Kenna Bridge of Spirits, or... Luigi's Mansion 3 or Metroid Dread. There's a bunch of games I want to get uploaded, so I might just upload a bunch of them at once, which I haven't done in a while. 
And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next walkthrough. You really are a couple of hot shots. Look who's talking. Ready to fix this, pal? I would love nothing more. Sorry for what I said before. You're my friend. And thank you for coming back. Team? Team. I guess it's time to go home, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hard to mention could use a couple heroes right about now. Well, how would you two feel about making a pit stop on the way? Where are we headed? I think you know. Is that... us? <laughs>